Why? Just why? What's up guys? Welcome to Rogue Reviews. This is my review of Geostorm. Full disclosure, I walked out of this movie with about 40 minutes in. So, I'm going to review the 40 minutes I did see and tell you how horrible this movie was. Because it was just, I wasn't expecting that. Full disclosure, I was not expecting this to be a good movie. I thought it would be like so bad it was good type thing. Kind of like a maybe a Batman and Robin, you know, type, like, oh my gosh, this is so ridiculous. And me and Evan, when we were going in, we both talked about, well, at least we'll see this on the big screen, because at least the visuals will be good. Yeah. They screwed even that up. I mean, a lot of the visuals were, you know, pretty good. Like, the space station looked great. And then you had the shuttle coming up to the space station, and... It looked like a 2000s video game, and I'm like, that was like the one thing I was looking forward to in this movie. Because, I mean, let's be honest, we don't go to the movies anymore to see, like, the amazing visuals. Like, we've seen about everything you can see with a computer. I mean, they can always go further and further with the technology, but, like, the initial wow factor of, like, CGI, I think, is really worn off. And people are getting, you know, wary of that, like, Transformer movies. It's like, there's no good story here. And Geostorm just... From the very beginning, the story was terrible. Gerard Butler's character gets fired, and then they rehire him because he's the only man for the job, so it seems like he should have never been fired in the first place. And just, like, those story decisions made no sense to me, and it wasn't going anywhere. The dialogue in this movie... Oh, that's something else as well. I mean, there was one scene... It was Gerard Butler's brother is, like, dating the Secret Service agent. And he's like, so, if me and the president were in danger, who would you save? And she's like, the president. I'm like, are we beyond this dialogue? I mean, it's so obvious. It was it was so obvious what they were going to say. It was painful. It felt like an eighth grader had written the script, to be honest. And it just nothing, nobody, it seemed like nobody was trying with this movie. Especially when it came to the science parts. I mean... Whatever, you know, movies, science is always spotchy, you know, Star Wars, you know, which I love, there's sound in space, but that's also space fantasy. This is supposed to take place in our real world. This is supposed to have, be in that real world context. So I'm like, all right, well, let's see what they come up with. And the, the once the sequence that happened early in the film, like these pipes got so hot, they burst from underneath the city and they were like red hot. And if they were that red hot, Everybody else would like melt, but nobody was that doing that. At one point, they said they, to control, to make things cold, they sent sound through space, which you can't do. And just, just the, like that sort of lazy writing that everybody's like, you know, I was looking at my friends, like, and the one guy, one of my buddies was like, did they just say that? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, they did. He's like, are you kidding me? I'm like, yeah, so... I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, we gave it a shot. And we weren't expecting greatness, like I said, but we were at least hoping it'd be somewhat entertaining. And, you know, I don't... I've never walked out of a movie, and I told Evan, you know, when we got into reviewing movies, I'm like, let's use one walk out a year. If, if a movie is so bad, we can walk out of one movie. And we used on this, because it was terrible. I mean... I remember even reading the synopsis. Apparently later in the movie there's a assassination attempt or a kidnapping attempt on the president. And watching this movie, I'm like, where are they fitting that in? It just, everything was so overkill and yet so underdone, if that makes sense. It just, it just, everything was about it was lazy. So I'm going to give this movie an incomplete because nobody tried on it. And I didn't feel like trying on it either after a while. So, all right, guys. That's my rant against Geostorm. Did you guys sit through it? If you guys sat through the movie fully, I'd love if you would leave a comment giving you your whole thoughts on this movie. You guys are more brave than I am because I just could not take it anymore. So make sure to leave a comment below. 
as always, make sure to subscribe to Rogue Reviews for more awesome content, guys. We'll see you guys next time. Wow.